All right, I finally got it. This is my Rift S and in this video, I'm going to unbox it and of course, I'm going to do the famous MRTV face on try and all of this goodness is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about VR and ARS Me, and if you love and appreciate independent reviews, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. And finally, here it is, the Rift S. It has arrived here at the MRTV headquarters. This is the replacement of the original Rift. Again, this is not a successor. This is a replacement of the original Rift. And I'm so much looking forward to pit this against the original Rift, the Samsung Odyssey Plus and the HP Reverb and all of these other headsets. I do understand that I'm kind of late to the game here, like reviewing this and unboxing this, but Oculus did refuse to send me a review unit. So I had to buy this myself. And of course I did it and I'm looking forward to give you all the details about this headset. But now in this video, let's start with the unboxing and the first face on try and here we go. All right, here it is, the Rift S, the replacement of the original Rift. Yes, replacement, not successor, very important. And actually the goal of Oculus was to make this more accessible to the masses. And well, that's why now we have inside out tracking, but we're going to talk much more about it later. First of all, here, the controllers, the wonderful Oculus touch controllers that also come with the Oculus Quest. And we have a trigger button. We have two buttons here. We have a thumbstick that is clickable. We have a menu button and we have a grip button. And well, this is a fantastic controller. And you will definitely hear more in the full MRTV review. And in this little box, you're going to find some batteries for the controllers here and a mini display port, two display port adapters. Should you want to use this with your laptop that has a mini display port adapter. Very nice that they put it there inside. And well, this is of course, well, the Rift S and let's have a look at it with out the box in the background. And that's so much better now. As you can tell here, we have the halo kind of strap instead of the ski mask type. This has changed. Now we also have inside out tracking with one, two, three, four and five cameras. So Overall, it's three more cameras than, for example, the Windows Mixed Reality headsets, and that is quite cool. Here on the bottom, what you can see here is a microphone, and well, here on the left side, you have like a knob, and with that, you can adjust the distance to your eyes, actually. What you cannot see is an IPD adjustment, because as you know, unfortunately, the Rift S does not have a manual IPD adjustment. Here is a 3.5 millimeters headphone jack if you don't like the internal audio of the Rift S, so you can use your own headphones. This is the cable and we're going to look at it a bit later. And here we have the adjustment knob on the back of the head strap, so you can adjust the Rift S to your head size. Overall, I can already tell you that the build quality is really, really nice and everything feels very well made. This is the cable and well, on the other side that plugs to your computer, you have a USB, the standard USB and display port. All right, now let's have a look at the face padding here. And as you can tell, we have this kind of very soft foam. I would even call it flimsy, the flimsy type of foam, the one that you also found on the Lenovo Explorer. And um, yeah, well, it is very nice on your face. It feels very good on your face, but I must tell you, I would think that after playing this for a longer time, this might not look good anymore. And also if you sweat a lot, then to, well, to give it to your friend to play, it won't be very comfortable. Well, I believe VR cover has to come to the rescue here. 
Now let's talk about lenses and the display. For the display, we now have a resolution of 1280 times 1440. That's a bit more than the original Rift that had 1200 times 1080. And we now have an LCD display. For the lenses, these are the same lenses as in the Oculus Quest and Oculus Go. And well, they are great. God rays are minimized and not as bad as for the original Rift anymore. So again, let me show you that knob here. So you can actually really like change the distance of the lenses to your eyes if you wear glasses, for example. So that's very helpful. And again here, the mechanism works really, really well and it's also very well built. Now let me show you that you can actually get rid of this facial padding here completely. So if you want to replace it, you can. And well, I didn't dare to do this when I tried the Oculus Rift S for the first time at GDC <laughs> and they didn't let me. So now with my own unit, of course, I can do it. And you do have to use some force to get it off actually. But then once everything is off, <laughs> it looks like this. Yeah, and then you can put on a replacement one, for example, or what you can also do you can actually also get rid of the whole halo. Here, you have to turn this knob and then you can simply do this here. And well, in the future, you might be able to completely exchange this with another type of headband. So that's great. And putting it back into it works as well. So that's nice. And as you can tell, it has some internal connection for, for the audio here. And on the left side, there's the connection for the cable, for the PC cable. The material here of this part that touches your forehead, it's some kind of cloth-like material that feels very soft to the touch. So here it is, the Rift S. And from the unboxing and from my first impressions, I can tell you that the build quality is fantastic, just as good as the original Rift. And as you could tell, it is built quite modular. So probably if you don't like this kind of halo design, probably in the future, there will be some additional head strap that uses the original kind of design. Well, who knows, you might dream, but you know that I actually prefer this halo style so i'm looking forward to try this on now in the first phase on try but i also want to show you something that i personally think is very comfortable in general which is this kind of flimsy material but well as i kind of indicated i do think it's flimsy and after a few hardcore sweating sessions normally this is not so nice anymore but well i believe that vr cover is going to come for the rescue here Anyways, also here, this material here, this material is really, really nice. It's cloth material and I'm kind of sure that it feels very nice once I'm going to put it on. Well, I already wore this device, right, um, at GDC, but I'm going to put this on here now at the MRTV headquarters for the first time. So let's do this. And right, so directly I can tell it's good to have this middle strap here as well. So we don't have this with the other halo kind of designs. And yeah, here we are. Feels great on the face. And um, yeah, this is exactly the same feeling that I had when I wore this for the very first time at GDC. It feels fantastic. It's super comfortable definitely better than the original rift without a doubt it feels way more balanced not so front heavy of course because of this kind of halo style of design and well that material the material that here actually touches your face it's very comfortable so this material is really nice feels good and also that cloth material here wow well done in terms of comfort this is an absolute winner and i am really looking forward to pit this device against the hp reverb and the valve index and the samsung odyssey plus because i believe that these are the comparisons that you actually want to see you want to see the 
the black level, the black value comparison. And you will probably only see that on MRTV. And I'm going to bring that all to you. But in terms of comfort, definitely fantastic. In terms of build quality, really amazing. And you, well, you even have this, this button here to, to bring the device a bit further away from you if you are a glasses wearer or bring it closer to you. Talking about glasses, why don't I put on my glasses and try this with glasses right now? Because there was a big problem of the original Rift. So here are my glasses. I have prepared it already for you. <laughs> and here we go. So probably in real life, if you meet me, this is who you're going to meet. <laughs> okay, so now with glasses on. Oh yeah, okay. This is like day and night as compared to the original Rift. With the original Rift, you know, there was a big problem here, but yeah, with the Rift S, it's absolutely no problem for me to get into the headset. So I'm sure lots of people will be really happy about it, but I will try more glasses, bigger ones for the full review. That's going to come up here on MRTV with all the comparisons against all the competitors, Reverb, Valve Index, Samsung Odyssey Plus, and everything that's going to come out in this year, probably also the HTC Vive Cosmos. But for the first impressions, a very, very big thumbs up. This looks amazing and I can't wait to try this out. And that's it for the Rift S unboxing and first face on video. But now I need your input. What kind of comparison would you like to see? Would you like to pit this against the Reverb? Would you like to pit this against the Samsung Odyssey Plus or the Pimax or, you know, I have them all. So please do let me know in the comment section below what kind of comparison with the Rift S do you want to see? All right, that's it. I really hope that this was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, and well, you wanna see all my upcoming videos, the full review, all these comparisons, then please do subscribe to this channel. And now that's it. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.